Today, it is widely accepted that global warming is happening and that indeed we are a major cause. The question now is, what are we going to do about it? Scientific research has recently discovered that the emissions caused by deforestation in developing countries now accounts for around 12% of the total global emissions of greenhouse gases each year. In 2007, an agreement was reached at the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in Bali on the urgent need to take further meaningful action to reduce emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. One proposal to achieve this is RED, which stands for Reduced Emissions from Deforestation and Forest Degradation. This film is about Prey Long Forest in Cambodia and some of the processes involved in developing a successful RED project. Prey Long is very important for biodiversity and as a natural ecosystem because it's the last remaining lowland swamp forest in Southeast Asia. From a carbon perspective, the, the swamp forests of Prelong are very important because swamp forests normally are associated with a buildup of peat. It is important to establish accurate baselines to calculate the carbon value for any type of forest. The development of a RED project is a complicated process and requires collecting a lot of data. A team from Conservation International joined a botanical team from University of Copenhagen and the Cambodian Forestry Administration on a 10-day expedition into Prey Long to collect this data. In addition to mapping the different forest types, we managed to collect well about uh, 100 tree species, mainly from the swamp forest, and uh, of these about one third is only found in the swamp forest and are absolutely unique to this forest habitat. Prey Long Forest is home to more than a quarter of a million people, with around 700,000 more living within a few kilometers of its boundaries. This forest is an integral part of their culture and spiritual life, and many depend upon its natural resources for their survival. Prelong forests aren't just important as a watershed, they're important as a natural filter. The forests remove toxins and other chemicals, and they also modify the flow of sediment into the Tane Sap and into the Mekong River. Prelong appears to be the ideal place to implement a red project due to its enormous carbon stocks, its incredible diversity of wildlife, its benefits to the local communities, and as a major watershed in Cambodia. Today, we are spending huge sums of money to replant and rehabilitate previously forested areas. So why are we not trying to do more to protect what little remains of the existing forests? Old growth forest is far better for reducing carbon emissions, and it also provides a much more effective way to preserve biodiversity for the future. In the end, it comes down to a matter of costs. There are certain expenses associated with the red process, but if done successfully, the benefits are many. The question must be, what is it worth to us to ensure the future stability of our climate? <laughs>